and we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan Nelson here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV. Today we're in Tucson, Arizona with Avery, and we are also here with Barbara. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and joining me on Real Estate Pros. Thanks for having us. So we got the mother-daughter duo, mm -hmm. and uh, awesome. So for those watching that don't know who you are, we'll give you a moment to introduce yourself. Okay, great. I'm Barbara Kittleson. I also go by BK, and uh, I work with Coldwell Banker in Oro Valley, but cover all of Tucson. And this is my daughter, Avery, who joined me um, last year in real estate, moving from San Diego. And uh, so we're kind of partnering together. Nice. So what made you move out here from the nicer weather of San Diego? A new career and the opportunity to work with my mom. Can't get better than that. Awesome. So did you guys both grow up here in Tucson? No, no, I'm from Oregon originally, Portland oh, wow. area, and she was born in um, Seattle, and then moved down here when she was about uh, to turn eight, oh, awesome. and so moved here in 97. So. Both great uh, towns. I recently went on a road trip through both those towns, Seattle and Portland. Very green. Very green. Completely different from here. Me and my wife came back and we're like, man, it's so dry out here. <laughs> <laughs> I think people up there, like my sister, have better skin overall, but um, the wrinkles and the, uh, the dry weather are, are um, better for, and the sun, better for uh, happiness, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, enough of the rain. Yeah, I got lucky. I didn't, it wasn't raining while we were there. I think I, uh, it usually rains out there uh, during the summertime too, doesn't it? All year. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but when it's green, it's, Seattle's the Emerald City, so... Yeah, yeah. it kind of reminded me of like a San Francisco feel of a city, you know, when you're close to the water, so anyways... Oh, it's beautiful, but yeah. you know, this is forever home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome, so uh, how long have you been in real estate? Uh, in my third year. Yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, so learning the ropes and enjoying people and um, just kind of, you know, building those relationships. So how? Uh, so what's your favorite part about being in real estate? Well, now that Avery's here, that's been really great because yeah. I can kind of train her and and she can also train me because I'm not as good with social media as she is and um, and so between the two of us, we kind of complement each other and we can cover you know some age gap too uh, mm -hmm. for different buyers and different sellers that have different needs and um, and come together and really just. Um, just helping people. Mm -hmm. So yeah. talk to us a little bit about the dynamic of, the t is it a team or is it you and you just help out, or, how, or do you have other people involved in that? Because we know you can have all kinds of setups, right? You can be a solo agent doing 100% of everything. Right. You could have a team of however you want to build it, but what's the dynamic of your guys' group right now? Well, I think that we're, um, we're growing. It was, uh, I was on my own for a while, of course, and um, now we're kind of co-branding on some things, doing open houses together, working together as a team so that we both, um, I don't know, our business grows for the two of us. Uh, we also do things on our own if we were to meet people that, um, that are just our client, but we're here to back each other up, which is great. So um, we don't go out of town at the same time. We always, um, someone wants to see a property, we're here for them. So you mentioned uh, open houses, so what have you found to be a key to having a successful open house? Because I know a lot of Asians go out there and maybe it's crickets at their open house, right? So how do you guys do open houses and make it a successful one? Well, we try to make it fun Yeah. and we bring high quality brochures. Um, if it's not our listing, we bring nice uh, colorful brochures showing the house. We set up some um, food, some snacks, and some takeaways for people so they come in and kind of have a nice environment. Try not to attack them at the door with, you know, make people uncomfortable. Sure. So, um, so yeah, we get really, really positive feedback on our open houses, which helps when we have a listing and, um, you know, beautiful brochures and just kind of a welcoming environment. Trying to brand ourselves that you want to come and see us. Sure. 
and then Avery, so you help focus a little bit on social media. And I think that's something that a lot of real estate agents may uh, struggle with, like what kind of content do you put out there? What have you found that that um, is helpful to you guys' business around social media and real estate? Well, definitely the Facebook boost is a big one. So every time we have an open house, I try to boost it. I try to do it at least a week in advance so that people know about it and want to come. So I've had pretty good success with that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I boosted on mine too. She's better with Instagram, yeah. but I'm learning. Are you on the IG it's, yet? Not it's either. one of she those. Is. She's not on nice. there. I'm not. I can't say I'm doing very well with it, but I'm learning. It's uh, you know, you young people are lucky because you grew you grew up with this, and so um, I'm a little bit more old school. But I think that helps me with my business because. Um, there's a lot of people that like that, that are intimidated, so I know enough about it to function. Right, right. But I'm not so tech savvy that, I, that it's scary for some you know, people. Mm -hmm. And I, I was in um, customer service, I actually did cold calling and selling um, advertising specialty products for 13 years. Oh, wow. And so my customer service, that was over the phone mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, face to face, I, I just, um, you know, I base my business on taking care of people and being face to face as well as doing the texting and you know all the social type media sure. stuff and emailing and things that so we have to do. you can't be behind a key bar the entire but time, right? N no, I, this business is definitely getting in front of people and having that relationship and, and being honest and having like eye contact like you and I have right now, sure. I think that that makes people comfortable and it makes me comfortable to know that someone's paying attention to me and, and looking at me and being truthful and sometimes that's hard to find. Sure, so, so. Uh, outside of open houses, what other activities do you guys focus on? Happy hours, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, um, we go to our office meetings, we tour homes, we um, you know, hand out business cards, we have little packets of candy and things that have um, our business cards in them and, and some have little dog treats that people like as well as people treats and um, and, and you know it's uh, personal notes and keeping up with uh, people on email and, and doing some um, emailing of pertinent you know kind of fun little newsletters and that kind of thing too to keep ourselves in front of people and so we're it's a business in progress. Sure and that, yeah. that's a very important thing that you touched on is staying in contact and I think that's something that a lot of real estate agents have. They may struggle with because they might uh, go through the process with a client and then they kind of get put on a shelf and they forget about their past clients and how to stay in contact with them. So how have you man how do you manage that personally to make sure you're staying in contact with your sphere of influence? Well, once again, doing some emailings, mm -hmm. you know, uh, phone calls, text messages on holidays or just, you know, once a month or whatever. You know, you don't want to bombard people, but you do want to be in front of them so that if they meet someone or, you know, family member wants to um, have some help buying or selling a home, that you're top of mind. That's for sure very important. So we know there's a lot of real estate agents, and you you are a top producer here in, in Tucson, and that's very hard to you know, you know, being three years in, you're obviously doing a lot of things correct um, in your business. So talk to us about what makes you different than all the other options in real estate, right? There's a there's thousands of real estate agents here in Tucson, right? So what is it that that makes people want to work with you? I think it's the personal uh, touch. I just take good care of people. We have lots of testimonials from happy people that just, um, I don't know, think I did a really good job. I follow up and give them the right paperwork and work through issues because there's always issues that sure. somehow come up, you know. So I try to just be very honest and and take the bull by the horns and, and uh, we're, the goal is to make a happy seller and a happy buyer whether I'm on either side with whomever that is, to make it so that we can go to closing and hand those keys over and, and everyone feels good about it and they feel good about me and, um, and Avery and the job that we've done to, to help them so that they would want to recommend us and want to work with us again and um, want to hear from us. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Here and there. You don't scare yeah. them off, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I think 
it's still, with all the social media and everything that is so, you know, we're behind closed doors and we're behind the screen and everything, I still, I base my business on the personal relationships. And, um, and I think that the people that hire me and, and hire Avery like the personal aspect that we bring. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe we don't just work with everyone um, and they don't want to work with us because maybe it's a little, um, I mean, some people are more bip, 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 but I'm very detail oriented. I, I want to educate you on the process and be there to answer your questions. And, and so um, that's how we work. I think that's why I've been successful because people value that personal Sure. And then I'm there. You know, I might not answer my phone after 10 p.m. though. <laughs> but up until then, yeah. Pretty but caring about accessible. the relationship, staying in contact obviously mm -hmm. helps in, and also delivering a great customer service experience up front. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a bad one, they're not going to refer you their clients. And that's a, that's a huge oh. thing because people don't buy houses every other week or every day. You know, it's pretty long term. So, you know, taking care of those customers, getting the referrals. And, well, know, it's our care. biggest decision, really. I mean, getting married, having a family, um, and buying a house. I mean, that's just huge in our lives. So for someone to trust me with that process, it's, it's pretty, uh, I feel honored. I've bought and sold a lot of homes and had good real estate agents that I felt like took really good care of me and have had some that haven't been so good. And I want to be one that is good so people you know talk about me sure and refer me which I do get referrals and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and there's I mean, we know that there's a lot of brokerage op or options here in, in Tucson why did you ultimately choose Coldwell Banker well Avery was moving I was with a different company and Avery was moving here um, last summer and I was at a crossroads of kind of deciding where I wanted my business to go and, and how, um, just how to proceed with her coming. And I thought being young that um, if she decided to move, Coldwell Banker is worldwide and nationwide. And if she wants to take Coldwell Banker with her to New York or California, I felt like moving to Coldwell Banker would be a really, really good opportunity, not only for me, but so that she could be in a real estate career and go anywhere and um, be recognized and still have that Coldwell Banker name. And it's a great company. They really, really help us as agents and um, go to bat if there's issues. Our, our managing brokers are fantastic. I've just felt like the last year with Coldwell Banker has been really tops. Sure. So if somebody watching this is interested in, in hiring you guys as uh, real estate agents to represent them on a buyer or, <laughs> or as, on a sell side, how do people get a hold of you guys? Um, well, we are at Coldwell Banker Oro Valley office up on um, Naranja and La Cañada. We have our um, phone numbers. Do you sure, you can give them uh, You can call me at 520-907-3393. Can reach Avery. My phone number is 520-461-4910. We also text and then um, I'm Barbara.Kittleson, K-I-T-T-E-L-S-O-N, um, at azmoves.com is my email too. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for taking time out of your busy day and joining me on Real Estate Pros today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Perfect.